Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to be connecting to our database but we're going to be using a class to do this and we're going to also going to be using a constructor to initiate some variables first of all um, when we uh, initiate this class or when we create a new instance of this class. So what we're doing is we're taking a few things that we've learned already and we're applying them into a real life situation or a real life application rather. So the first thing I want to do is obvious, I'm going to create a new class. So this class is going to be called Database Connect. So let's open that up into our block so we can start writing what we need inside of it. Now the first thing we need is a constructor and what this is going to do is it's going to take the host name, the username and the password and it's going to apply this to a method inside of our class. So we're only working with one class here um, but we're using um, a constructor first of all to take in some variables and then what we're doing is we're using a method inside of our class to actually connect to the database. Now, if the database connects successfully, we're going to return true, and then in the constructor, we're going, to we're going to take this value, we're going to return either true or false from the method, and in the constructor, we're going to pick up on either this true or false value, and then echo if we've successfully connected or if we haven't. So it's a bit of a long way round of things, however, what we're actually doing is practicing, that's the main thing, we're practicing. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create our constructor. So I've got here, I'm going to say public function two underscores and construct. Con struct. Okay, so remember the parenthesis at the end, we're going to put our arguments in there in a moment and then our block here, remember that as well. So if you don't remember what a construct does, let me just demonstrate. Let's just echo out hello now let's come down here and create a new instance of our class by saying connection equals new database connect now what this does is is um, as soon as we initiate this uh, class as soon as we create a new instance of it this code inside this block will be run that's basically what we're looking at when we see this constructor here so you can see that we've run the text hello however if this was to be a normal function or normal method we wouldn't automatically echo anything out. So let's get rid of that, and let's get rid of that. Now we need to think about what parameters we need to pass through into our um, into our uh, cl class as it's created. So we need the DB host, which is the database host, uh, and you can name these anything, I'm just calling them this because this is what I'm used to, DB username and DB password. Okay, so let's give this a test, so let's echo out the DB user, uh, the DB host, sorry. I'm going to append a break onto that. And the DB username, append another break onto that. And the DB password. So we're basically now testing uh, when we create the new instance of our class, our database connect class, we're testing that the parameters are being sent through correctly. So let's say connection equals new database connect now in here we need to submit su uh, supply some parameters if we don't you'll see that we'll get an error it says here blah 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 missing argument one two and three and then we've got an undefined variable in here as well uh, because we haven't supplied the arguments these are all undefined variables and the argument error came from here uh, which you can see missing argument so um, let's supply it with uh, the arguments that it requires. We've got one, two, and three. Uh, the first one I'm just going to say localhost, and I'm going to say root, and I'm going to say password. So let's go and refresh. And you can see that that's simply taken the constructor and it's echoed out the uh, arguments that we've passed into it. So we know that that works now. And get rid of this. Now what we're essentially going to be doing here is performing a check to see if another method returns a true or false value. Let's go ahead and create that method now so we know exactly what we're doing. Now the method is going to be called um, connect and inside this method we're going to be making use of the uh, MySQL connect function. So what we're essentially doing is we're saying if and we're saying MySQL connect 
and then we're supplying it with a few uh, arguments in here which are going to be gained from inside here so it's getting quite complicated and multi-level now but hopefully by the end of this you'll understand what's going on um, if this MySQL connect is true then we're going to return a true value which is going to be picked up by our constructor so we've created the skeleton outline for our connect method. Now let's go. Um, let, let's uh, uh, apply these parameters. So it's db host, db username, and db password. So what this will do is this will allow us to feed in some parameters or arguments into this connect method, and we're going to do that inside our block code here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if this and inside this connect. Then we're saying db host, db username, db password. If this is true, do something. Otherwise, do something else. So in here, I'm going to say if not, um, if this doesn't return a true value. So if this, if the connect doesn't return a true value, it's safe to say that the connection has failed. So we're going to put connection failed. Otherwise, we're going to echo connected to, and then we're just going to display the database host that we're connected to.